and welcome to another custom figure review. Today we're going to be looking at Colony South from Series 9. Another of the Series 9 opener customs that I've gone through. This is the last one I've done so far. I might end up making more in the future, but for now, that's this is the last one. Um, in terms, I'll get straight ahead. I'm going to go ahead and just let you know that it is extremely out of scale with everything. Uh, as you can see, he is a bit too tall. That was a mistake while making it. However, if I hadn't showed you that, it does look moderately nice um, as it is like this. The main problem, because uh, for, for the main the main reason why it's too tall is because he's actually standing on two plinths, uh, one on a foam board and one of this piece from the back of uh, a, a tenant TARDIS, um, which you will see in... A later video uh, is missing from the actual TARDIS, um, but yeah, he's I, I, I moved him up so that he could have uh, a longer and uh, more frailed out dress at the bottom, and it sort of made him a bit too tall, but just displayed like this, uh, it looks really nice. So yeah, let's go ahead with the review, and I will start with the fact that it, it the base figure is actually a... Um, uh, yeah. It's a winder figure, I think. I think so. Yeah, yeah it is a winder. And well, the, the hood, on, if we just pull the hood off, as you can see there, there is the winder head still. If it will focus. There's the winder head. And all I've done is sculpted on. Uh, properly sculpted on. I sculpted on like a snake skin uh, and uh, levels to create a snake sort of thing and the, each level creates uh, ridges which uh, show off that it is uh, it's a colony south and yeah so I'll just put this hood back on this hood is um, the, from the winder on, let's just stick it back on it's from the winder you can see from the back focus there we go there it is it's a winder I've just sculpted on very badly from that view um it coming forwards and laying onto the jacket um the arms are actually milli putted together as one you may say well what was the point in that because he's always had his, he always has his arms like that so what's the point in having separate arms plus the fact I did try to do it with arms but his hands were it would never do this pose which is his most iconic one so uh, it was either make it um, have have arms that he you never see um, but make it inaccurate or make it uh, make it accurate like this and have it in the pose that he always has them they still have the articulation and uh, you could probably move them in different ways but they're stuck like that also the hands never stuck together when they were in the coat they were just sort of stuck and they would never touch, so it would it would look really weird. So I just decided to sculpt them together. I should have really sculpted to the side bits because they're now out of focus, out of uh, thingy. I did sculpt on slightly bits at the back here as well. And if we move this up here, you can see I've sculpted on uh, in the light really badly. Um, that it's uh, smoothed out, so there's not as many. It's not as obviously a winder costume. It's all painted it in in painted it. It's all painted in brown, uh, and obviously, this, I've also removed not removed so sculpted on a uh, shirt piece, which is sort of like a dress that goes all the way down. Um, and yeah, that's painted with a gold, and then detailing of blue and green to give it a nice shine and match the patterns of the real costume. As I say, that goes all the way to the bottom to this bit, which is, this is where the uh, winder dress would have stopped originally, and I've sculpted down uh, around the sides and painted that silver as well to give it the nice hook. He does stand up like so, and because he's on the thing, I can push him along like so. So he does slide, as he should. Originally, I was thinking of putting wheels on, but it would just, it would have been too much work, I think, and there was not really much point doing it, um, because it just slide everywhere, so 
that's pretty much what we've got here. So yeah, very happy with it. Um, and I think that's pretty much it for this review. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.